welcome back guys it's letter have a game we all back on sky factory today we got some stuff planned and it's nothing specific i would just kind of cruise around i would just you know i just took a little nappy nap and uh woke up and thought hey it's time to get some stuff done right um i still haven't built my house it just it still haven't done it whatever but i was sleeping and i was like hey the book's right there, right? And we haven't touched on that book in a while. So we're going to come back to that in just a second. I just kind of want to get caught up because I didn't see any of you guys at my live stream. Um, probably because I didn't advertise it. But I am going to start streaming on Twitch uh, every now and then. Not too often. Maybe like three times a week I'm going to try for a couple hours. Uh, but I got some stuff done on my stream. <laughs> As you can see, I built some stuff. So... I had, you know, I had the farm and stuff like that, and I just kind of went crazy with uh, immersive engineering. I really like the mod. I like how pretty everything is, and so I thought, hey, why not, right? So I'm creating a little iron, uh, iron steel town, as I call it. I love this whole steampunk look, and uh, I want to be able to power everything in the in this world above every everything on grass basically um i want to try to be able to power it all using uh the immersive engineering i don't know how feasible that's going to be but i'm trying that that's what i'm going for that's my goal um so i've got a couple different power options i've still got the hideous tower of dirt and uh power coming from that and uh not a lot but i do get some power from it and it powers a few of these items around here and then I created this guy, I built this guy over here because I wanted some extra power. So I did the water mill and that kind of gave me the idea of this might end up being, uh, I might enclose this entire corner and then kind of make it look like we're in like a little ravine or valley or something like that and kind of do that on the rolling outside. So this, this corner is pretty much done. We're not going any further that direction. Um, the farms, however, are probably going to go way off in this direction and I'm going to start building some crazy Menencio farms because I realized I need a ton, ton, ton of Menencio Essence uh, and I'm not getting a lot. Oh, Iron Essence. So yeah, um, as I get the Iron Essence, let me show you my one planted iron crop um, and I believe uh, nine Essence give you an ingot or something like that. I think, I think that's how it works or nine Essence. I don't remember. Um, iron essence. Iron essence is used to make oh eight iron. Oh, wow, and W. Wow, that's actually that's sixteen iron ingots from nine of these because I double yield all those. Wow, knockback not all that exciting. Um, uh, knockback two definitely not all that exciting, but the books that's kind of cool. I mean something different. Wow, I was going to try to do the iron and then the diamond because the book had that in there, but I stopped. So let me grab these guys real quick and put them in the in the inventory. So I've gone wireless. Um, get you guys caught up real quick on, you know, kind of what's been going on. So immersive engineering, obviously, I've been rocking that. If that's something you guys want to see me work on. I've got a lot of multi-block structures left I still want to do. I just did all that during the stream. So I've been working on applied energistics and trying to figure out the whole system. Um, and I'm realizing I'm going to have to go bigger now. But uh, I've got this bad boy rocking. It's pretty sweet. I like it. Um, it's I, I now can auto craft. I've never actually done the auto craft aspect or whatever, right? So I've got my pattern terminal here where I can make the patterns and stuff like that. And as you can see, I've got like one thing I can craft right there. <clears throat> I've got a lot. Um, I've got six uh, interfaces connected to um, assemblers, whatever they're called, uh, molecular assemblers. And... Uh, I don't, eventually I'll kind of spread these all out and make more uh, assemblers, but right now it's it's pretty quick, so, for my needs. And, uh, yeah, so we've been working on that, and I've actually expanded my inventory because I started getting a lot of stuff, so that's where we are with that. And other than that, I'm nothing really too new. I, I try not to do too much off camera because I'm not trying to be that person who's like, you know, 40 episodes in and I'm done. Like, I want to go step by step with you guys. So, um, I don't need to go to the deep dark. No. Let's go check the book. Let's go check the book and see if there's any fun stuff to do and see what things we've actually accomplished uh, that I haven't. I, didn't I put the bucket back? I put the bucket back, didn't I? All right, let's go put this back and then check the book. 
All right, you go there. All right, and we'll go check the book. You're closer to this side, I think. Yep, there we go. And see what stuff we've got done and what things we can get done. All right, so starting with, I did find the craft an iron seed. Diamond seeds are a little too far away. You need a lot of Menenzio essence for this uh, magical crop stuff. But <clears throat> once I get stuff going, we'll be good. We'll be good to go. Uh, this is a long ways away. I'm not worried about that. But I can fly now. I did use an angel block. Let me, yeah. So it, use an angel block to start an island somewhere else, right? Well, my somewhere else was just up. I wanted to do Thomcraft in like a floating environment. Um, maybe I kind of got inspired from when we were on Tragic Magic. Uh, Mr. Saint had done one and it was kind of like chained to the ground. He did a lot of really cool stuff with uh, Carpenter's Blocks. But it gave me the idea, um, uh, yeah, Psalmcraft is a very interesting magical mod, and so I just used a little angel block, planted it up here, started a little platform, and the funny thing is, I planted some trees. I, not really all that impressive, my height, it's literally the same levels what the tree grew to. Kind, kind of funny. All I could have done is just placed a block here and done it, but... I did it with an angel block and then I planted all these trees because I wanted more wood for I, I started to get inspired for my build and uh, that tree just grew huge that thing's like a good 30 blocks tall maybe maybe a 40 blocks tall that's a huge tree I don't know anyways so yes uh, Thumbcraft we will be getting going on Thumbcraft pretty soon but anyways let's let's get back to the book okay so we did our angel block. Um, we have traveled to the nether already, which we're going to do again today. Uh, we've killed the nether, or wither, sorry. We've traveled to the deep dark. We have not killed an ender dragon, so we've not gotten an egg. Um, I have not created a maximum size reactor, but we do have a reactor. Um, I have not created a turbine yet, so I haven't hit any of these numbers. I have craft and powered a generator of some kind. We did the lava generator to begin with. I've used energy conduits to power machines. Um, linking an ender pouch to an ender chest. This is this is one that we can take a look at. Um, create an implied, yeah, done that. Automate storage of ore dust from automatic sieve. Not yet, but that's something we can do pretty easily. Uh, process sieve materials and ingots. Yeah, we've done that. The draconic stuff. This I really, really want to get into, but the only problem is I don't get a lot of the, the dust. And I need to get some dust, so I, I found out a way to get uh, double the yield if you do it in an alloy smelter. So I need to stop my chest from smelting it automatically, and so that way I can start getting double. Um, automate a wither killing. We can do that. We can do that. I need to bring in a couple wither skeletons so I can get more heads. But yeah, we can do that. Uh, kill Chaos dragon, no, no, no. Make a term, no. Um, research on the dragon, no. Jump between two tape, no. Uh, draconic chest, I did make a draconic chest. Produce one billion RF per tick. Talk about never needing power again. No, nowhere near that. Um, successfully run a 1k by 1k ender quarry. No, I'm doing about 100 by 60. So 1k by 1k is kind of huge. Uh, get 20 different fluid moo cow, or, uh, yeah, moo fluid cows and automate milking. Well, I've got the cows, but I haven't automated milking yet. And that's it. That's, that's it for the book. So we can do the ender pouch today and um, automating a wither kill. That that sounds like something fun. Lots of nether stars. I'm wondering, just, just curious, what kind of things I can create with a nether star. There's nine pages of shape. Okay, we know that. A uh, nether star generator. I wonder how that would even get powered. I don't know. Um... Observations of an immortal. Oh, that's from Witchery. Not there yet. Um, that stuff is so expensive. I don't know why I would want a block of Nether. Uh, nether stars. Uh, what is this? This is Lucridite block for big reactors. Well, I've got all those materials. I wonder what that's for. What are you for? I wonder if it's a f f fuel or oh, I'll look into that later. Um, what else do we got? Oh, what's that? Um, distortion flame. <coughs> well, that takes four of those, so that'll be something in the future. Um, what is this? A porto spawner. Mine factory reloaded. Interesting. We did our wings. We got wings. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what is this? This is an upgrade for RF tools. Uh, shape card silk quarry. Ooh. 
Ooh. Dimension 5, 5, offset 0, 0. Interesting. Sneak right click on a builder to start mark mode, then right click mark, okay? Uh, this item will cause the builder to quarry all blocks in the configured space and replace them with dirt, right? Blocks are harvested with silk touch. That's cool, because I can yield like more diamonds and stuff like that. That's actually really interesting. Uh, shield projector tier. Efficiency. Okay, so RF tools can get some use out of it. Magical crops. Um, <coughs> that is to get the top tier, so I want to hold on to that. What about this? This null cast catalyst. That's witchery. I don't even know anything about that. I, I, I might want to dig into witchery soon. All right, wither stars. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go check out the ender pouch and ender chest concept because I know I'm going to start wanting to make these ender chests from uh, ender storage. They're they're pretty sweet because you can color code them and stuff like that, and I can definitely use them for uh, relocation. It's almost like the concept of a tesseract, but I don't I won't need a tesseract. Like, I mean, I'll still need power for certain things, which is why I use it. But like in regards to like my quarry, right? Now, yeah, I need power, but I could just do one ender chest to another ender chest and <coughs> and color code them, and that would be, I think that would be pretty useful. Let me grab all this junk real quick. And then I have gone wireless. Um, I've got it strong enough so it covers like 90% of the, well, like 99% of the island. Um, the only place it doesn't do is like the last couple blocks over in the corner by... Uh, my Batania area, but I never walk over there, so it's not it's a non-issue. Um, there's a little sensor right there. All right, so Ender, Ender Pouch, Ender Pouch, yes. That is pretty cheap and easy. I can make that. All right, cool. And then I need an Ender Chest, not a Sender Chest, an Ender Chest. This guy right here, this guy can be color coded. Okay, so I've got all that material. And I'm going to need a dye. So let's start with purple. Because I like purple. I am a Vikings fan. And so, yeah. So let's see, how do we. Just like that. And then I just. How. Okay. Oh, you like. Wow, they're like totally color coded. So you can do like multiple. <coughs> okay, um, how do I, how do I bind the ender chest to, hold on, let me put something in this ender chest, like my sword, and then, okay, how do I color code this, let's try that, let me do purple again, how do I color, I need you, and I need my pestle, clear you out let's see do I craft you with it is that how I get the purple on you um, how do I bind it let me try shift right clicking ha there you go shift right clicking work so now the ha ha Oh, that's cool. It actually opens the chest. That's pretty sweet. Okay. So then I've got mobile star and I can have multiple, multiple ones. And these are so much larger than regular ender chests. These are actually the size of regular chests. That's useful. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Well, we'll just hold you in there for right now. How's that? And we'll put you away. So I'm going to hold on to you for a minute. You know what? I'm going to put you right here with that stuff. I'm going to start color coding all my my different... Uh, the mods. Like, every one will have its own ender chest. And that will be cool. Because can I... Okay, if I put another die. Like, say, let's go gold. No, not gold. Uh, yellow. That's close enough. Uh, yellow dandelion. Okay. So if I do that, is that going to put it like on this marker? Yes, it does. And then I just take this and will it change it over? It opened, but where's my sword? Oh, my sword's in the purple one. <laughs> Can I? 
Uh, I need white again to get my purple sword, my sword back. Uh, white. Uh, white floral. So if I change, do I have to change you back to white? Is that what I have to do? Yep. And then I just go, pagook. And there's my That is pretty sweet. That is, that is really sweet. Okay. I like that. So... Uh, the other thing I want to do today is I want to go get some blaze spawners to create a blaze farm. So uh, what we need, and that's actually something that's just really useful. I think it's better blocks or something like that. Uh, Java, yeah, Java has these um, diamond dollies, right? And it, if you saw when I first got in, I had the three diamonds because I was looking at it earlier, but I needed to make the regular dolly. So if I make two of these, then I can make two of these. And I'm going to look for something that says fireproof because I keep getting freaking every time I go down there trying to get like wither bones and stuff like that or another. Well, yeah. Necrotic bones. That's it. Um, no, no fireproof. I mean, there's fire potion, fire resistance for three minutes. And um, I have a can I let's let's see if I can do that. Um, fireproof. That's what I want. Fire resistance. Um, what am I looking for? Stand, brewing stand. Let's take out our brewing stand. Let's make a potion of fire resistance. So those blaze, there's just so many blazes. I mean, come on, really? There are so many blazes. No regular glass. What about you? None of you. Come on, I gotta have some kind of. There we go. Just three. That's all I need. And let me go get some water over here. And let's let's make a splat or a potion of fire resistance before we go to the nether. Because I don't want to die again. Honestly, I just don't want to die. Um, if I could be fire resistant, that would be nice. So fire resistance. Okay, so I've got to go all the way back to... Okay, nether wart. Magma... No, not magma cream. Oh, yeah, magma cream and then redstone. Okay. <coughs> so, one nether wart. One magma cream. Oh, no, I need slime. Um, do these do these work, too? I don't know. Let's see. I don't think I've ever tried it using these slime. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. And redstone, which we know we have. All right. Let's get this potion of brewing. Uh, I wish there was a way to speed up brewing stands. Um, let's see. Just while we're waiting. Like, brew speed up. Uh, oh, witchery brews. That's right. Oh, botanical brewery's got some cool stuff, too. And what is this? Brew of combustion. That's all witchery stuff. Witchery's pretty sweet. So it's like, wow. Just, it's, it's so cool stuff. Auto brewing. That, that could be useful. I might... I might check out some auto brewing. Incense sticks from Batania. Brew of crossed souls. Brew of feather feet. Feather feet for 90 minutes. Soul cross. Night vision. Brew of cloaking. I wonder if that makes you... Inv invisibility for 480 minutes? That is... Where's my redstone? I thought I grabbed redstone. Oh, I put it all right there. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Okay, so we're going to have resistance for eight minutes. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty good. That's I. This is how I find stuff. And I literally just type in random words and start looking. Um, wow, infused brew of soaring. Yeah, witchery is so sweet. That might be one of the next ones we take a look at. Okay, well, we've got a sword, we can fly, we got our dollies, we got our dollies, <coughs> let's go try to get a couple blaze spawners, I don't need to drink the potion until I get there, do I? Alright, these blazes won't be an issue now, maybe I can get some necrotic bones and get more hearts, that'd be nice, so my armor gets better, I get more hearts and that's just good stuff. Okay, fire resistance we have. Ooh, not the normal greeting I get. That's a feather. Okay. Ooh, did not see you. You know, 
there is a light from uh, Immersive Engineering I would love to try out. Um, <clears throat> how did you spawn behind me? Where did you come from? Um, yeah, there is a light from Immersive Engineering that I want to try out that's pretty freaking sweet. And I want to see if I can floodlight this area so it's just really pretty. Hey. Oh. So many wither skeletons. Probably going to get a whole bunch of coal and no necrotic bones because that's how my luck rolls. How, oh, I'm withered. I was like, how am I taking damage? I take a lot of damage. Uh, I got two necrotic bones though. Cool. What are these? Wrath Shard. What is that used for? Interesting. Forbidden Magic. I'll have to check that out. So, health needs to regen. So, we can go find these. I see a Blaze Spawner straight ahead. Awesome. Let's get the dolly here. And then I'll put it in the Ender Chest so that way I don't have to worry about losing it. Because death is always a possibility with me. I'm really good at it. I'm good at dying. I really am. Um, well, the blazes can't bother me with fire, so if I stay away from wither skeletons, and usually they're not around here. Okay, let, do I just, oh, I just right click it. Oh, that is, that is quick, fast, and easy. You get mining fatigue, though, and slowness. Huh, good thing I'm flying and I'm always really fast. Oh, that's awesome. Alright, well, I got two of you now. Does that give me more? Mighty Fatigue 2. I think it was already 2. Well, now, yeah, I'm really slow. Why am I taking damage? Sorry, Zombie Pigman. I didn't actually mean to kill you. It was just kind of a habit from someone in the nether coming after me. Well, we got the two new spawners. Oh, those dollies are awesome. And that Mighty Fatigue ain't bothering me now. <laughs> How did you get on this side? I wonder if you can take... Can you take the portal with me? You want to come with me? You want to come check out the overworld? <clears throat> come on. Come stand on the portal with me. Come on. Come on. Come and join me. Oh, I moved off too much. Didn't mean to do that. Come on. Come stand on the portal with me, man. Come stand on it with me. You don't want to come? All right. Well, I'm going to go. Oh, that's really, I didn't notice that on the right-hand side. It gives you, uh, it tells you, like, what uh, enchantments are on you, so I didn't have to look here. It's right over there on the right-hand side. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Now, I wonder if, I don't think spawners stop because of the magma tor or, uh, magnum torch. Let's, let's go see. It'd be kind of funny. Maybe I can make it rain on them. That would be funny. Um, I think the dolly breaks after I put it down, so let's, let's go get, like, an obsidian. I don't need obsidian. I need just something to put him in for right now. Um, I'm hoping it's just a durability, because it was three diamonds for the dolly. Now, Granny, I get to move a spawner, so totally... Whoopsie! Okay, it's a durability. <laughs> Whew! That was not where I wanted to put it. Um, I don't want to make it stone. Stone. I've got stone. I'm just going to go put him in the stone. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to put him in storage for right now until I know exactly where I want to uh, to build my, my spawner thing or whatever. But I think, I think I'm going to try to keep this one short. And uh, when we come back, I'm going to, I'm going to be probably, I don't, I don't want to say done, but I'm going to be done with my first couple layers of Thomcraft. Maybe we'll get back into Thomcraft. Um, but I do want to check out this Forbidden Magic. What is, what is that about? Forbidden Magic. Um, okay, what are you good for? You don't seem to be good for anything. I wonder <clears throat> if you smelt up. Where, yeah, let me get this thing. What is this all about? Ooh, I haven't seen those ones before. That's That may it might be some new stuff. And I did get a wither skull head, which is cool. These are all things I haven't actually scanned before. That's kind of funny. Nothing. Potion. Yeah, there's some stuff in a potion. There's a lot of stuff I haven't scanned yet. 
Yeah, I didn't think that was going to work. All right. Well, there's stuff I haven't scanned, so I still can get more points. Sweet. Well, I think that was a pretty useful trip. I've got spawners, so now I can go create uh, a blaze farm. And uh, I don't know how many blaze rods I'm ever going to really need. I can always just go to the nether and kill a whole bunch of guys. You know what? Let's go see if I can make some canisters and get some more hearts before we end this. Or like right at 25 minutes I can keep this one under 30 let's go see if we can make some more heart canisters I'd love to get like you know an extra freaking uh, what is it three layers so extra 30 hearts total right now I've got an extra like three and a half or four um, canister yes well let me type in heart canister because I think that's the actual name of it heart canister there you are can I make you I, ooh, I actually have jeweled apples. I made a couple before. Okay, what was the other thing I needed? It was a jeweled apple and another canister. I can make another canister really easily. There we go, and then a jeweled apple is made. How? That's kind of expensive, but I think the more hearts are worth it. All right, so that gives us three more hearts. I'm down with three more hearts. There we go. Is that three more hearts or is it three half hearts? No, I had four in there. No, no. This, this should put me at 17 hearts. Yeah, I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. Oh, the printing machine or painting machine was really cool. That's, uh, oh, do I have, uh, you know what? It's okay. We, we can go over that later. Um, how many wither do I, is that my only wither head? That's my only one right now. Okay, so. Until next time, I guess. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying. I I had a lot of I have a lot of fun doing this. Um, as you can see. Oh, I'll explain this real quick. <clears throat> I am trying to utilize every mod. A um, little bit at a time. A lot of bit at a time. Whatever. I want to fully exhaust every mod in this series. So I might get up to, you know, 100 plus episodes. I want to fully exhaust every mod and everything I can do with them. So this is the first time I've ever used the extra utility pipes, and I've been trying to figure them out, and I, I think everything's going well with them. Um, and I, there's a lot of other extra utility stuff I still want to touch on, but so over here, what I did was I actually went with the Ender IO. I've never even touched anything Ender IO, but I like it because you can run item ducts and liquid ducts through the same thing, and you can actually kind of visually see where they're all going. That, I think, is really, really cool. So I'm digging on the Ender I.O. stuff, but oh my god, it took me forever to figure out how it actually worked. And I still don't really have a good idea. But I have a better idea than I did when I started. So anyways, um, yeah, I think I think that'll kind of do it for today. We've got the spawners. We've got... Is there anything else I can do in that book? I mean, come on. There we go. We've got, did I do anything book related? We just went through it. I still haven't done that. Um, dragons, no, max, no, no, no. Did I, oh yes, we did click the ender pouch to the ender chest. Um, automate storage for dust, haven't done that yet, but we will. This stuff is so far away, I gotta figure out how to do that. This one though, this one could be the next episode. It may not be Thomcraft. It might be automated wither killings. But I have to figure out a way to get wither heads. I can get them with a safari net. I can put them in a auto spawner. Yes, we can we can do that. We can definitely do that. And this book is not that long. I thought there was more to it, but the book seemed to be a little shorter than what I had expected. Well, guys, um, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. If, and I'm going to throw this out there. If you <clears throat> want to see more of like the building stuff, let me know. Like with this immersive engineering, like I said, I did it with the Twitch stream or whatever, and I got a lot done during that stream. If this is something that interests you, because I, I personally love this mod. I think this mod is absolutely amazing. So if this is something that interests you and you want to see more, uh, more of it in the series, let me know because I plan on doing more. And I don't know if I should wait for episodes or if I should do it in my streams or what the case may be. So let me know what you guys think. And um, until then, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.